Oops, and I just started my video. Okay, so it's Crockett 36, and uh, here we are on the phone with No Limit. We're playing No Limit's house rule game number 12. This is US 7. We have got until the end of um, US 12 to win this game, so or at least to the end of uh, round 12. So we've still got uh, about more than halfway through the game, but uh, things are happening. Things are shaking. So um, as far as the rest of the world, there is a large battle that's going on between um, Quang Si forces, the Japanese, and the Szechuan forces, and uh, and the Indian um, Far East Command forces. Um, so the Hawaiians are, I mean, the Americans are holding up in Hawaii, like usual, and uh, uh, not not doing anything um, adventurous right now. The big deal is that uh, I've landed American troops in Normandy and can produce out of that factory. But um, we are going to do some stuff right now. So we built with our $76, Spirit of 76, uh, we built um, three transports, uh, three infantry, three artillery, one sub, one factory for Norway, and one naval base for Norway. All right, so those are my builds. Let's draw those down. And then we have, uh, I think it's uh, three attacks, uh, one on Denmark, one on 125, and one on Karelia. So let's uh, let's make our moves. Okay, so we're going to need to move the tank to blitz through Finland. Get rid of that nasty uh, German sticker and liberate it for the Americans. And uh, we will... Um, there's an infantryman there. Let me put a white dice there. I just always like to know where my stuff is. Sometimes it blends in. Okay, so then we're going to take uh, six bombers. Uh, into the battle for Kurelia. The seventh bomber is going to take a paratrooper. Uh, America begins the sixth bomber. Is it? Oh, I only have six. Okay. So, um, so then uh, take a paratrooper with him to the battle of Kurelia. He can match uh, the ground unit there. Okay, so I've got a destroyer uh, that's going to go up and attack the... Uh, uh, sub up there, nasty sub, nasty U-boat, and I'm looking for, real quick for an extra destroyer to place, there it is, okay, uh, and that actually can transport an infantry as well, I forgot, okay, so, um, that's going to attack, and of course they're going to use some aircraft with that, we're going to, well, they're not doing anything else, so we'll send uh, all five aircraft into that battle. And then uh, all of the forces out of um, Normandy are actually going to move over to Denmark. And I'm just going to put them to the side because Denmark is not that big. Uh, that'll be, uh, so, so far, nine infantry, four mechs, uh, and one, uh, three artillery. And then in addition to that, from Gibraltar, we will bring uh, two transports, which would bring... Um, uh, I'm supposing the anti-aircraft gun and three infantry. So I'm going to send the green ship up with that to put underneath those guys right there. Leaving five infantry behind in Gibraltar. Okay, so now we have some bomber transport. The bomber transport... Nope, the bomber transport cannot take them to Denmark. Uh, I think that's it for... Oh, yeah, yeah, So I can take on it one destroyer, one more infantry out of London. Um, and that would go into Denmark as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, that may be it. Um, you know, if I took that... If I took a cruiser up there, that might be too much, huh? Tempting him to uh, attack the fleet. Okay. Okay. 112. 112 is the cauldron. So um, I just picked up an infantry. All right. Oh, I was going to put down. Um, that's right. The blue chips are going to be um, twos. So the blue chips from the 
other game there, World War One. So there'll be two, uh, three infantry, I believe. If you, if you uh, are following me, no limit. There will be three American infantry left in London, uh, and there will be five American infantry left in Gibraltar. All right, I think that might be it for attacks. Uh, obviously, all this force one ten would move into one twelve, so that would be. Um, See if I have a marker somewhere. Uh, I do, but oh, there it is. Okay, all this force moves into 112. That's kind of gaudy, but I'll go with it. I got to be very careful not to touch my uh, volume buttons and uh, power off buttons on this Samson. Okay, I think that's it. Um, nothing else I can think of. So let's do the battles. So. I'm going to try to put this on a stand, and then we'll have hands free. All right, push that up there. Okay. All right. Um, so it's facing the uh, the tray, and I'm going to do the um, I'm going to do the the big battle first. We've got. Uh, Two, two, um, two threes for the Germans, and then a uh, two uh, greens for the Germans for defense, and then for the bombers. I've got six bombers. Those would be easily the Reds. Uh, five bombers. Here, right. five bombers. Thank you. Five bombers, and then in. Two infantry, that would be a two dice. Uh, I got a, gr a green numbered dice for that. Yep. One infantry, yep, one infantry. And uh, and then a blue, um, which would be... Do I have a blue numbered dice? Mm, I thought I did. It's right. Nope. That's not it. Okay, so I will... Hmm. Okay, I'll do them separately. I was going to do them all together. Okay, so... Do the blue. Okay, so we are rolling five reds, and um, oops, that's a little close. Five reds, and then uh, the tank with the blue, and then the green dice is the uh, paratrooper. All right, here we go. And we get one, two, three, four, uh, five hits. Five hits. All right, now he goes back and he throws the Two blues and two greens. Okay. And he gets two hits. So. Right. Okay, no bombers lost. The brave infantry. We do capture Finland. No, no. Okay, uh, no, Finland is captured. Because uh, I blitzed it. Yep. Yep, yep. And all those forces that were threatening my... New factory production are gone. Dirty Germans. Okay. <laughs> Racial. I get to uh, freely, uh, freely be slightly uh, against that race. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. So that's. Uh, oh, I did capture uh, Denmark. No, no combat needed there. Okay. And that's worth two bucks. I'm actually making some good money this game. Okay, and then uh, the, I don't know, let me just throw th what, four fighters. Uh, four fighters, one diver, and a green. Here we go. This is for the three fighters? I thought four fighters. Four fighters. All right, here we go. And hits galore. And then he rolls the back, and uh, he gets nothing. So sad. So sad. Oh, he only... Oh, oh no, I rolled the wrong dice. Uh, he's a sub. He defends at a one. Poopers. Poopers. Nothing. All right, good. All right, that worked out. So... Not exactly a flawless turn, but uh, that is war, right? Okay, so then we do a lot of non-coms. 
Okay, so we're going to we'll move up here, get a little closer to the action, and uh, I'll take the dice up here. This infantry in Norway, I guess, can go to Finland if it wanted to. Um, yep. Okay, you could. I think you could see that. Um, the bombers, way up here, top of the world, are going to go to. Oh, going to go to Smolensk, except for one of them. Nolan informs me has to go to Anuncia. So, so f uh, five five bombers. No, four bombers. In Smolensk, is that right? I just had five bombers in Smolensk. All right, and uh, there's a bunch of infantry in Smolensk, and then one bomber goes to Nanensia. Very tempting, huh, Schultze? Very tempting. All right, now over here, get you a little closer. Uh, two men can go on a bomber transport from um, uh, Gibraltar up to London, bringing my total of five to five infantry. The planes, uh, two fighters, will go back to the carriers, so it will be two fighters, not two, uh, not a diver and a fighter. And then the, um, and then. Uh, Two fighters will land in London. Oh man, we could have used the air base in uh, Norway too. <laughs> the whole contingent could have done the whole thing. Okay, and that would leave uh, me to transport from uh, the United States uh, four artillery and four infantry, and then uh, one one man on a one bomber can go to London. No, 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 he can't go to London. No, he's got to go to Gibraltar because he's an air transport. Unless I wanted the bomber just to go to, uh, I guess that wouldn't be a terrible thing for the bomber just to go to uh, to London. I don't know. Does that work? Yes, there's a single infantry. Right, but I, I don't necessarily need this single infantry to slow me down. But, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of fun to have it there, and I would be moving two infantry. So, yeah, I'll take it to Gibraltar. Okay. Um, my destroyer in 98 is going to go to 92. Um, my infantry in India will stay there. And then over here... Uh, we don't necessarily need to do any. And my Pacific forces are just going to remain the same. Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay. And I will start the recap. Oh, the money thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll place my units. Factory and naval base. And then uh, in addition to that, uh, the three transports. The blue chips are two twos. Uh, three infantry and three, and then uh, artillery, and then one um, sub is going to go to 110. So, all right, let's uh, do recap. Uh, and then money. As far as money goes, I am a millionaire. Um, so I have normally 70 bucks, uh, 72 if I had Philippines, but I don't. So now I have Normandy, 72, Denmark, 74, uh, Norway, uh, 77, Finland, uh, 78, 79. Um, so that would be $59 worth of uh, regular units and then $20 worth of um, NOs. Uh, oh, and did I save one? Did I save? Okay, I saved one. So that would be 80 bucks. Cool. I love the 80 number. All right. Um, here we go for recap. There's one paratrooper token left in East Coast, I think. Uh, three artillery, three infantry, three uh, in East Coast. In 101, there's three transports. In Gibraltar, there's four transports. On uh, Gibraltar, I'm sorry, 91, there's four transports. In Gibraltar proper, there's four artillery, 
and six eight men, one bomber, and ninety two is a destroyer that made it all the way around the world, by the way. In one ten, there's a sub. Uh, in London, there are two, three, four, five infantry, two aircraft uh, f uh, fighters, one diver, one bomber. In 112, um, big old bad 112, we have an aircraft carrier, five heavy cruisers, one battleship, one destroyer, seven, nine transports. Nine transports, two fighters, if I didn't say it already. Uh, and uh, then in Denmark, there are, uh, let's see, 8, 9, and 3 is 12. 13 infantry is what I'm seeing. Uh, that's 5, and then 11. No, uh, yes, 13 infantry. And then uh, 3 artillery, 4 mechs, and 1 anti-aircraft. So I'm seeing 13 and 4 is 17. I'm seeing, no, I'm seeing more than that. So 5 and 6 is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 7, 21 is what I'm seeing. Okay, uh, you're right. I can't have 21 because I only used 9 boats. So I should be able to have 18. So... Oh, 19. Okay, so what do you have in Gibraltar right now? So some of our numbers should be off right now. In Gibraltar? Oh, Denmark. 12 infantry. Okay. Okay. Four. Uh, that would be four mechs. I never had five mechs. Twelve infantry. You got the anti aircraft? Do you have the anti-aircraft or not? Oh, I, I put them into Denmark. Can I not do that? Maybe I double count. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to take it along. Can you drop it in afterward or not? Okay. All right. So 12 infantry, uh, 4 mechs, and three artillery. Okay, that's what we have. Okay, somehow I had an extra unit. I had one extra unit and I took the... Uh, Alright, so then... Um, so then Gibraltar has... Ends up having eight infantry, one anti-aircraft, um, four artillery, one bomber. Uh, 91 has four transports. 92 has a destroyer. Nancia has one bomber. Uh, Smolensk has five bombers. Finland has a single infantry. And then uh, over here, uh, 26 has three subs, one destroyer, one transport. There's five infantry and one anti-aircraft in Hawaii. And then in Alaska has two anti-aircraft. And one infantry in Calcutta. All right, that's it.